Would you look at the time? It's time for another video. Good day, TFL Adventures through Time and Space. It is Eileen Carly Timeline. We're back to Let's Play Earthbound Part 34. Sorry about no video yesterday. I was just really tired. For the first time, the Franklin Badge actually deflected the lightning from those guys. Finally. I'm not kidding. Like, it never deflected the lightning. You know, that's its one and only purpose. Sorry about that. Just decided to pause for those two fights. Now, you want to get to the casket and the magic butterfly. Do not go down that hole yet. I hate this area. It's just too difficult. It's not really that difficult, but it's just, you know, not easy. Luckily, they can't climb stairs.
finally out of the out of the pyramid. Hopefully nothing terrible happens here. Oh no, what's this? Well done. You've made it. Oh, he healed us. We we finally meet Prince Cam. The stars foretold that I would meet you here. Now it's time to show you the way of the star storm. For a while you must live far away from your friends and live with me. Do you understand? There's only one answer. I must stop you here. You here even if you don't want to. Stay with me for a while. Do you understand? It is important that I study the star storm. It will be most helpful to us. Once I've learned it, I'll meet up with you, Dusty. Trust me, I will see you again. It depends on, on Cam's efforts that, that will determine the reuniting of the group. Be faithful and wait until the time comes. Yes, worst possible thing in the game. I'm not sure if it was the dungeon man, but there's a strange looking tower to the northwest. This key I picked up a little while ago shall open the tower. You may have it, I do not need it. Just you got the key to the tower. It was some pretty rough stuff. I can't run my business in town. Yes, please. Yes. Bye. Yes, please. Some pretty weird music, wasn't it? Uh, this is bad. What's up with the music in this place? I've never actually listened to the music here.
Do you still lighten at the dead end after you make quite a long walk, Brick Road? Oh no, it's Brick Road again. Well, you explored the dungeon. Why, why don't you make a pit stop? Sorry, I had an itch. So my feathers went flying. Brick Road. That's only one of two chests in the entire game that I'm pretty sure contain money. I like the teddy bears in this game. They're very good items to have, but mm, in this dungeon, the teddy bear won't last very long. It's the ice clock. Never mind, I forgot about that treasure chest, which also contains money. Now it should be definitely noted, definitely do not encounter the enemies on this floor. Because they will kill you dead. And I don't mean just a little bit dead, I mean extremely dead. Avoid fights on this floor at all costs.
great. See what I mean? The enemies on this floor will kill you kinda, not just kinda dead, but really dead. I don't know how you're supposed to survive that, those guys, really. Now this floor is my favorite floor because it lags a lot because it's trying to render all these sprites. Along with it trying to, my screen trying to capture my face. And also the game. Did I mention this area is a lot of sprites? Welcome. Long time no see, Mr. Will. We met in Winters a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I'm Brick Road. The Doctor Andonuts finally made me Dungeon Man. If you want, I'll come with you guys for a while. The return hole's over there. Jump in the hole and then walk out. Okay. Return all. Jump in with all your courage. Prick road. My hand's falling asleep. It feels kind of weird. Now you can encounter battle with Dungeon Man in your party. And he does like 300 damage per attack. But, I'd prefer just to continue on with the story without it getting into a battle with Dungeon Man the party. Oh no, I am getting caught in the palm trees. Mm, I cannot move. 
Well, if I cannot move, it is okay. Yes, I'm part of a Doctor Who group. Duh. Anyways, sorry about that. It is okay. Dusty, it makes me sad, but I must say goodbye here at my eternal resting place. A scary place called the Deep Darkness is on the other side of the river. The monsters are very strong. You can lose your health just by wandering in the swamp. Do you want to cross the river even though you know it? it's a stupid idea? Yes. The swamp is bottomless. Even if you're swimming, you'll be dragged in. It's a different story if you have a submarine. How do we get a preemptive strike? I don't know. Anyways, I'm not checking you out on this fight. I've got a preemptive strike. I'm going to use it by obliterating them. The submarine? I believe that I have one in my old vehicle collection. Please enter. And this is what makes Dungeon Man so annoying. You have to go through him twice. You know what? <laughs> Anyways, I think this is a good place to end this episode. So, this is the Cowardly Tomlin signing off and saying, have a good day, or whatever time it is, wherever you are.